You know, and now the other thing that's important is not every time it's used in the Bible does it mean that it's beyond the point of salvation, for example, in, in Jeremiah 6.30. But we do have specific uh, times that it's used, and it makes, a strong, uh, uh, it makes a strong and firm case for it being rejected completely, and we're going to go through that. But let's go ahead and uh, just look. What You're there in Deuteronomy uh, 30. Uh, I mean, Deuter Deuteronomy 4, and we're going to be there in verse 1. And the very first thing I wanted to tell you is, I'm going to give you a list, and this is not an inclusive list, but I, I did, a, uh, you know, a, a, the list that I include here, I did it with the point of just making it simple. There's certain things and certain individuals you can call reprobates right away. So it's like reprobates that anybody can spot. Because then there comes a point where there's other individuals that might, be giving you indications of some things and it might look like that's the case but we don't know you know and obviously only God can open up the heart of a man or a woman and know what's inside so I wanted to make sure that that was clear when we're presenting this doctrine you know if we go to there to Deuteronomy 4 verse 1 the Bible says now therefore hearken O Israel unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye di diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal poor. For all the men that followed Baal poor, the Lord thy God had destroyed them from among you. But ye did that, but ye but ye that did cleave, oh, but ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught, taught you statutes and, statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. And we see here that they added or took away from the word.